Video content is the future of the online world, but getting people to actually watch your videos is getting harder and harder. In fact, one third of all people who start watching your video will actually click off within the first 10 seconds alone. So in this video, I'm going to show you a really cool research tool that you should be using before you record any of your videos, and that's coming up right now. Hey there, Mark Warnkin here, your social media for business expert. And if this is your first time here, this channel is all about helping you to understand the amazing world of social media to help grow your business or brand using LinkedIn, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and a whole lot more. So hit the subscribe button below to stay up to date with everything social media. I release videos just like this every week and you definitely don't wanna be missing out on them. So you've recorded and uploaded some videos online and you're now sharing them across all of your social media platforms. Congratulations because that's the first step. But frustration is now setting in, I hear you say, because no one is actually watching your videos. Well, guess what? You're not alone with that problem. Millions of video creators and brands and companies around the world face exactly the same issue. But guess what? I have a solution for you because in this video, I'm going to show you a great keyword research tool that you can use before uploading or before creating any videos where it will actually tell you in advance how many people are searching for that term or that idea or that thought around the video that you want to create. So let's go to some live screen action. Grab a pen and paper, grab a coffee, because I'm gonna run you through this amazing keyword research tool, which is going to help you from the start to create more engaging videos that you know there is actually a market for. So here we are on my YouTube channel, Mark Warren can social media selling one, two, three. Um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, subscribe because I update video content pretty much every week. Um, lots of videos that's gonna help grow your business or brand. So one of the strategies, I suppose, when you first create a YouTube channel is just to start populating it with some videos as quick as you can. Three to five videos as quick as you can. But once you start evolving, you then wanna do a little bit of research behind the um, title or the subject or or or, or what um, you know the content of what your video is about. So, and you can do that by utilising an amazing keyword research tool. Now, that keyword research tool is called Keywords Everywhere. Now, I use it pretty much every day for various things, and if I can spell, that would help. But here we go: Keywords Everywhere. So, up is going to pop. Um, I've just put that into the Google search and here it is, we're gonna go to that now. But before we go to the actual web page and show you what it's all about, the keyword research tool is already working for me. So it's a Google Chrome extension that I've downloaded and it's free. And see over here on the right hand side of the top right hand corner of my um, my desktop computer, there's the little icon. And if I hover over the icon, it says keywords everywhere. So I've downloaded the keywords everywhere tool so straight away you can see it in action I've utilized Google as the search engine and typed in keywords everywhere and straight away it's telling me 49,500 people a month have googled that key phrase now it's only a two-word phrase but isn't that powerful 49,500 people straight away it's telling me over here on the right hand side as well it's giving me other relatable searches around that type of topic 1800 1 or oh, sorry 1 million 800 thousand 1.2 million etc etc so before I've even gone to show you um, the tool in any great depth and then down the bottom it might give you more suggestions so before i've even gone to show you what the tool is all about it's already working and in play for me it's highlighting in yellow where i've set some parameters whenever there's more than 500 searches a month it will highlight um, uh, in yellow to show me what that's all about so keywords everywhere as i say it's a free google extension or google chrome extension there's the website go to there, download and away you go. So how does that actually work in a little bit more um, different um, uh, 
uh, a broader example. So I've just opened up a new word, uh, a new um, browser here, and this is just my recent history searching um, just a few minutes ago before recording the video. Keywords everywhere, 49,500. How to use LinkedIn for business, 880 people. How to use Facebook for business. How to stop my dog from barking, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. How powerful is this tool? So the tip is before just creating random videos on topics that you think um, may or may be interesting for yourself but may not be interesting to the broader market is start doing some research beforehand because quite often what will happen you'll be creating video content and I hear this all the time you'll be uploading it to YouTube and Facebook and Instagram and Twitter and on your website and and LinkedIn and wherever and you'll be saying Mark these videos aren't being watched and sometimes the number one reason is because there is not that many people who are interested in that type of video so let's click on one of these again just to show you in a little bit more detail how to stop my dog from barking and here we go so keywords everywhere tool is in action and it's now going to spit out volumes 3600 people a month are going to google and keying in how to stop my dog from barking at night isn't that amazing so straight away Google are telling you these are the topics people are researching for. So this becomes a great content idea for you to create a video around how to stop my dog from barking and utilize exactly that title of your video. Now you can also create a blog, you could create a, um, and post that as well. Um, you could just do a normal post on social media, et cetera, et cetera. Over here on the right hand side, again, it's coming up um, with some more related keyword searches. How to stop my dog from barking at night. See, a little bit different to this one. How to stop my dog from barking. How to stop my dog from barking at night. Why is the dog barking? Stop dog barking, ultrasonic. How to stop dog barking at neighbors. It's very creative. So straight away, here might be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven or eight blog titles or video titles straight away that you know the market is actually searching for that can become the titles that can be the content of your videos and if we scroll down the bottom it may even give me some more it does stop dog barking app stop dog barking ultrasonic it's given me a few more so let's go and 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 key in something else um linkedin for business let's see what comes up that for that one linkedin for business this one is a little bit more related to, to, to me and my brand. How many people are keying in the search term LinkedIn for business? 12,100 people a month are going to Google and most likely the other search engines as well. And there'd be volumes there. 12,100 people a month are keying in the term LinkedIn for business. LinkedIn business logins, etc. Over here, create a LinkedIn in company page so there we go it's giving me instant volume instant ideas around how to create content in um, before I've even um, you know started to think about recording a video and things like that what else could we put in um, Facebook for business see what comes up for that one. Oh, here we go it's already pre-populating straight away look at this Facebook for business it's telling me 360,000 people a month 360 what's that that's about 4 million people a year are going to Google and typing in Facebook for business instantly that becomes a blog title instantly that becomes a video title instantly that becomes a social media post that I can start um, pushing out into the marketplace. So very creative. Let's me go to something a little bit more broad um, in the marketplace. Best BMX bikes for kids. Here we go. Best BMX bikes for kids. See what comes up here. This is just random thoughts. None of this is pre um, thought out let's have a look best bmx bikes for kids now straight away it's giving me the volume search is quite low because i know it didn't highlight it in yellow i've gone to the um the settings on this keyword um, everywhere tool and said volume over 500 a month highlighted in yellow so i'm surprised with that that it's not as um the search volume is not as broad but over here kids bmx bike so you can see how the simple change around of the words we've got kids BMX bikes, um, sorry, over here, kids BMX bikes, almost 10,000 people a month are searching that way.
but if I key it in this way, best BMX bikes for kids, the search volume is significantly less. It's what is it? Um, 10% is 5% of this one. So this would be a better blog title or an article title or even a video title as well. Best BMX bikes for best BMX bikes for adults. Scrolling down the bottom, is it going to show me any particular more details? Um, it's just um, showing me a duplication of what we had before. So, and that works the same here on YouTube. If we go to best BMX bikes, it's going to give me the same result here on YouTube. Um, coming into play, best BMX bikes, if I can spell it first, B-I-K-E-S. 4,400 a month, um, how to buy a bike. What other more information is they gonna give us on here on, on YouTube? Well, it's giving me the volume, of course, and it's then giving me the ranked videos that it feels are best for that particular search. Um, how to change your profile picture on YouTube or how to change, it's gonna give me a million. How to change, what can we have a look at? How to change your, how to change a tire, here we go. How to change a car tire, but it's actually how to change a tire. YouTube videos pop up. 9,900, almost 10,000 people a month are creating or going to um, YouTube, uh, Google and searching for that term. So there we go, another opportunity for someone who's maybe in the car niche or, or just likes to create simple how-to videos. If we go to Google and put that one in as well, see what comes up for that one, how to change a car tire. See if it gives us a broad um, extra ideas as well. So we searched it on YouTube. There's an opportunity if that's your industry, your niche. 9,900 people a month. Over here, more suggestions, tires, puncture, repair, tire, change, kit. And you can see the different spelling of tire. Sometimes we need to um, add those keywords into our description and title and tags or, or the metadata, they call it, the information behind. Um, let's finish it on how to add, how to upload to YouTube. Here we go, something that's um, uh, dear to my heart because YouTube and video creation is, is, is basically the main focus for me at the moment. How to upload to YouTube, a thousand people a month. I would have thought it might've been more than that, but over here, giving me further suggested keyword um, related terms, YouTube uploader, how to sign into YouTube, um, desktop YouTube, 26,000, how to upload a video to YouTube from iPhone. So there we go, very specific. So again, probably a good one for us to finish on. Instantly, this becomes an opportunity for me and for everyone out there to create content, a blog article, a post, um, a video titled how to upload a video to YouTube from iPhone because they're telling me 6,600 people uh, a month are searching for that. If we click on that, let's see what um, it brings up. It's gonna bring me up a whole heap of information around that topic. And amongst that, of course, it's going to bring me up some videos front and center. Um, Google own YouTube. So they were increasingly pushing out YouTube videos for you to watch. Um, and they're here right at the top of this search results. I could also click on videos here and it will then show me how to upload a video to YouTube from iPhone. So the number one um, searched, uh, the number one ranked video that Google and YouTube are serving up to me is a direct match for the key phrase that I've just um, entered into Google. And that's one of the tips. Make the key phrase exactly what people are searching for. You will then vastly increase the chances of your videos appearing on page one of Google and page one of YouTube. And all of that activity will help grow your business or brand, help start promoting you across the, um, the amazing platform of social media and the world online. So finishing up here on my YouTube channel, as I said, don't forget to subscribe. Mark Warnkin, Social Media Selling 123. Send me a message on YouTube. Send me a message on Facebook or LinkedIn regarding some of the content. Let me know when you're tuning in from around the world. I would love to hear your feedback as well.
So there we go. Hopefully you have found this video informative, entertaining and helpful. And it's now going to inspire you to do some research before your video content or even blog writing content, or in fact, any content that you want to put online these days. Um, so if you want to stay up to date with everything social media, video content like this, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below. I share these videos across my YouTube channel. They also go on my Facebook page, my blog, my website, everywhere online as well. Mark Warnkin, Social Media Selling 123 signing off, and I look forward to seeing you again in another one of my videos real soon.